So if you watched episode one, you might remember a reference to a box of reeds that was less than $4, and I really couldn't resist, so here they are. Nice box of 10 Xinjiang. I'm sure I'm butchering that pronunciation and I apologize. Clarinet reads. I don't know what any of that means, but I know what that means. And uh, I don't know what any of this information is down there. I know that there's some nice music on the background here and it uh, looks like 5 4 time. Yep. And let's crack into these guys. Standard plastic wrap. Ah. More plastic. Nice little desiccant. And here's our first one. Real nice gouge in the bark there. That's classic. The tip is, let me see if I can get some white behind this tip. Tip is a bit destroyed on the first one out of the box. tip here is uh, arguably more destroyed. Pretty rough grain. It's the best looking one yet. Little nick out of the tip there. And the bark is pretty bark is pretty uneven. But hey, for seventy cents a read or so, whoa. Crazy bark on this one. Really off center. So, judging on appearance alone, not too. Um, far afield from the other cheap reeds, which were a little bit more a piece than, than each of these. I suppose I should measure one. Going into the readometer. Whoa. Pretty soft. About a five and a half.
right around six. Yeah, we're pretty consistent. A little bit softer there. All these are all really hanging out in the same neighborhood around five, six. And for two and a half, I think that's probably fair. Last one. All right, interesting. Pretty consistent in however they're measuring these at the factory. Let's see how they play. Yeah, this is... Uh, <laughs> this is so warped. This is so warped that I can... This has never happened to me with any read before. If I hold up to the light, even with pressure on the bark, if I look in cross view to the table of the mouthpiece I can see light coming through the table like between the back of the reed and the table of the mouthpiece it's so warped that it's not it's not on there flat so that's not a good sign for the first reed let's see what the second one is like this has the same thing going on okay <laughs> But I think this is not as severe, so I think a ligature should be able to hold it in place a little bit better. We'll see. plays you know it plays let's see what a third one is like just for fun all right this one is like flat on there so that's that's really great close enough Okay, so when you get a good one, these are not, uh, these are maybe even better than the other cheap reeds that I tried in the cheap reed video, but um, they're not better than, uh, you know, like a good reputable reed that you would buy, which is unfortunate. I wish I could say like, hey, buy these reeds for $4 a box, they're awesome, but it's pretty much what you would expect.